types of programs have been presented so in continuation with these programs we the students of class 8th are going to present an unique creation of gd mopasa the necklace under the guidance of aparna pathak ma'am please enjoy the colorful ending of this week pretty and charming ladies born as if through error of destiny into a family of clerk she had no expectations no means of getting to know or marry a man who was either wealthy or distinguished she let herself be married off to a little clerk in the ministry of education she was simple but she was unhappy because she felt that she deserved the best one evening her husband came home looking overjoyed holding a large envelope in his hand and said to her here is something for you swiftly she tore the envelope and drew out a printed card on which were these words the ministry of education and madam rampani request the pleasure of the company of mr and mrs lawzel on the evening of monday january the 18th at minister's residence instead of being delighted as her husband hoped she flung the invitation across the table and start murmuring what do you want me to do with this why my dear i thought you would be pleased to never go out and this is a great occasion i had great trouble to get it she looked at him out of furious eyes and said impatiently and what do you suppose i am to wear such an affair why the dress you go to the trader it look very nice to me he stopped stupefied and dismayed when he saw that his wife was beginning to cry two large tears ran slowly down from the corner of her eyes towards the corner of her mouth what's the matter with you nothing only i haven't a dress so i can't go to this party give her invitation to some friend of yours whose wife has something better than i look here matilde what would be the cost of a suitable dress I don't know exactly, but I think I could do with four hundred francs. Very well. I will give you four hundred francs. But try and get a really nice dress with the money. The okay. day of the party, Junior and Madame Loisel seemed sad, uneasy, and anxious. Her dress was ready, however. One evening, her husband said to her, "What's the matter with you? You have been very odd." for the last 3 days i am utterly miserable at not having any jewels not a single stone to wear we are plus they are very smart at this time of the year for 10 francs you could get two or three gorgeous roses no there is nothing so humiliating as looking poor in the middle of a lot of rich women how stupid we are go and see madam forestier and ask her to lend some jewels that's true i never thought of it next day she went to see her friend and told her trouble madam forestier went to her dressing table took up a large box brought it to madam loisel choose my dear
Haven't you anything else? Look for yourself. I don't know what you would like best. Suddenly, she discovered in a black satin case a superb diamond necklace. Her hands trembled as she lifted it. She fastened it. She fastened it round her neck. Then she asked with hesitation, "Could you lend me this?" "Yes, of course." She flung herself on her friend's neck, embraced her, and went away with her treasure. The day of the party arrived. Madame Loisel was. The day of the party arrived. Madame Loisel was a success. She was the was the prettiest woman present elegant graceful and smiling madam loisel was a success all the men noticed her inquired her name and asked to be introduced to her She danced with enthusiasm, intoxicated, thinking of nothing but the admiration. She left about four o'clock in the morning. He put over her shoulder the wrap he had brought for them to go home in. and she reached home in which she had wrapped her shoulders so as to see herself in all her glory before the mirror but suddenly she uttered a cry What's the matter with you? I I I have no longer got Madam Forestier's necklace. What? Impossible. Are you sure that you still had it on when you came out? Yes, I touched it in the hall at the ministry. But if you had lost it in the street, we should hard it fall. Yes, probably we should. Did you take the number of the cab? No, I didn't take. Did you? No. I will go over all the ground and see if I can find it. Her husband returned about seven. He found nothing. I went to the police station to the newspaper to offer a reward to the cab companies everywhere. She waited all day long. in the same state of bewilderment at this fearful disaster you must write to your friend that you have broken the clasp of a necklace and getting it mended that will give us time to look about us she wrote as he said next day they took the box which had held the necklace and went to the jeweler they found a string of diamond 
which seemed to them exactly like the one they were looking for. They could get it for 36,000 francs. When Madame Loisel took back the necklace to Madame Forestier, she said in an unpleasant tone, You ought to have brought it back sooner. I might have needed it. Madame Loisel came to know the terrible life of miserable poverty. It was necessary to pay off the debt. At last, at the end of ten years, at the end of ten years, everything was paid off. She looked old now. One Sunday, she gone for a walk to rid herself of the cares of the week. She suddenly caught sight of a woman out for a walk. It was Madame Forestier, still young, still beautiful and still attractive. She went up to her and spoke in a shrill voice. Good morning, Jenny. But, Madam, I don't know. You must be making a mistake. No, I am Mathilde Loisel. Oh, my poor Mathilde, how you have changed. All because of you. Because of me? How was that? You remember the diamond necklace you lent me for the ball at the ministry? Well, I lost it. How could you? Why you brought it back? I have given you another one just like it. And for the last 10 years, we have been paying for it. You say you bought a diamond necklace to replace mine. Yes, you hadn't noticed it. Oh, my poor Mathilde. But mine was imitation. It was worth at the very most 500 francs. Oh. At last, the characters are as follows. Abhina and Rishika as Mr. and Mrs. Loisel, Shubhi as Madame Forestier, Adarsh, Samrat, Kunal, Purnima, Shagun, Richa, Snehal and Devanshi as party members. Shivam and Bhavesh as jeweler. Madhvi as narrator. Thank, Thank you. you.